I was doing Fantasy Island. We, uh, we lasted seven seasons. And at the end of the sixth season, during my hiatus, Harvey Bennett, the producer, offered me this role of Khan, which was based on a character I had done many years ago when it was a television series. It was called Space Seed. I was a super, superman, you know, very powerful, who is then abandoned into a, is it habitable, but un, un, uninhabited, no, uninhabited, inhabited uh, 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 planet. And he's left there, and, um, and that's it. That was the idea. So now they go through all the different villains to see what the next show is going to be, because the original show was, um, the villain was a, a ship that is computerized somehow, something goes on, to kill, you know, Kirk and all this, Enterprise, kill him. Now, the concept is interesting because there you have, as, a, as an enemy, a man, or a, an object that has no fear, no fear whatsoever, and then it's just to kill, it's computerized to that. Very interesting, however, there was no communication. It's, oh, here it comes, you know, here, here, here it is. And, suspense, but there was no communication, so you have to have a real villain. And they went through all the different villains, and when they came to mind, they said, wait a minute, it'd be interesting to see what happened to him in that planet that was abandoned. And, and that was how the thing was born. Well, let's have Ricardo, you know, it's many years later, you know, older now. Dear. And when they offer me the play, the part, it isn't that I think, um, that there is a, a part that is too small for me. No, but there was in a way because after six years of Fancy Island, which was a very successful series, I wanted to be on the screen with a more important role, you know. When I read it, I thought something. I thought, well, when I am not on the screen, they're talking about me. So it seemed, and besides, it's an interesting role. I think I can do something with it. However, I said, okay, I'll do it. I begin getting acquainted with the characters, which I, I had to bring from way back, and I began to then to articulate as I memorized the dialogue. And to my terrible despair, I sounded to me like Mr. Rourke of Fancy Island. See, the audiences are going to laugh me off the screen. They're not going to believe that I am Khan, the Superman. I sound like Rourke. What is it? What is it? What is it? So I told Harry Bennett, Harry, would you send me a print of the original Space C. And he sent me it, you know. And I, I played it, and I played it again about three times. About the third time, I began to remember what I thought then as an actor, what, 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 what I was trying to accomplish, or what I did accomplish, whatever. And all of a sudden, it came to me. So what I have to do now is bring that character and then make it passionate, because he's blaming Kirk for the death of his wife, whom he loved passionately. And so he wants revenge, revenge. And so I have to play this character fully. I'm not going to play it safe. I'm not going to play it safe. I want to play it full of passion. Vengeance, not for himself, but for the memory of his wife, whom he adored. And all of a sudden, I began to read. And to my, I, I, I was convinced by that time that, that Mr. Rourke had disappeared. And that indeed, I, I had become calm. You know. And then, of course, I had the great, joy of working with Nicholas Meyer, who's the director, a brilliant young man. And he knew what I was doing, and he let me go with passion all the way to almost there, because if you go a little farther, then you become ridiculous, you know. If you play it safe, it's dull. So he allowed me to bring the passion up to almost, almost a point there, you know, at times. And he, he would say, too much or too little. He really guided me beautifully, and I owe a great deal of the success that Khan had to Nicholas Meyer and a beautifully written script.